ดีค่ะ Welcome to Austin Connect with me, k w a n k a w i s e t n o y Malacca is one of the 13 states of Malaysia, which used to be one of the important seaports of the Austin region. This is because it is the connecting point between the Western world and the Eastern world. Malacca was supported by China, which then made Chenghe had an important role. Which then made Malacca became one of the important network of trade routes in the ancient times, and even until today, Malacca is still important for China because it is one of the maritime Silk Road of the 21st century. The voyage of Zheng He during the years 1371 to 1433 of the Ming Dynasty was a historically significant event in China. Throughout the 28 years, the Chinese emperor assigned Zheng He and his committee to lead large fleets on seven voyages across the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean. These expeditions placed China into contact with as many as 36 empires. Besides expanding the glory of China, these voyages left a mark in the history of marine navigation, taking place almost 100 years before powerful Western countries such as Portugal were able to sail around the African continent to India. Zheng He's expeditions proved to be a historical precedent. Although geographically distant from China, regions in Southeast Asia are still politically and economically influenced by China. The Chinese tribute system granted trade privileges as incentives, which attracted many empires who sought acceptance into the system in order to gain leverage over competing kingdoms. The Siwichai Kingdom, for instance, ruled the seas of Southeast Asia after receiving support from China during the 7th to the 13th centuries. By the 14th century, the Siwichai Kingdom lost its power and became part of the Machapahit Kingdom. Later, during the 15th century, an empire specializing in maritime trade was formed in the Malay Peninsula known as the Malacca Empire. Malacca was in the past the center of a great empire because of its location and the narrowest strait where the eastern and the western winds merged, making it an ideal site for a major trading port of the old world. This was the reason for the tiny fishing village to have grown so fast as a port city after Prince Boramedwara decided to set up the town in 1403 under the name Malacca from the Emla tree called Malacca tree by the local people and regarded as the auspicious plant of Malacca. The mouth of Malacca River here was the location of the original town foundation the palace of Prince Baramedwara was built on the eastern bank of the river near Malacca Hill. 
Throughout several centuries, this river served not only as the main source of sweet water, but also the transport route for products from the hinterland forest to the port. Nations from Ayutthaya and Majapahit kingdoms served as catalysts for Malacca to join the tribute system of China in the year 1405. As a member of the Chinese tribute system, Malacca received equivalent empire status to Ayutthaya and Majapahit. China was the guarantee of stability for the newly established Empire of Malacca. The Chinese tribute system enriched the economy of Malacca by granting rights to trade with China, which continuously attracted merchants from various countries to the empire. This transformed Malacca into the anthropocenter of Southeast Asia in the 15th century. Historical records reveal that Ming Dynasty's Admiral Zheng He visited Malacca at least five times during his famous seven voyages. According to historical records, Admiral Zheng He established Wong Chang, or a huge warehouse complex, on the northern side of the mouth of the Malacca River when his fleet came to Southeast Asia. Ma Huan, an interpreter who accompanied Zheng He on several of the voyages, gave a detailed description of Guang Chang in his well-known book entitled Ying Ya Cheng Lan, or a comprehensive survey of the ocean's shores, written in 1433 as follows. Whenever the treasure of ships of China arrived there, they at once erected a line of stockades like a city wall and set up towers for the watch drums at four gates. At night they had patrols of guards carrying bells. Inside, again, they erected an inner stockade like a small city wall within which they constructed warehouses and granaries and all the money and provisions were stored there. The ship, which had gone to various countries, returned to this place and assembled there. They marshaled the foreign goods and loaded them in the ships, then waited till the south wind was perfectly favorable and returned home. Zheng He's expedition has left cultural heritage in various lands visited by his fleet, especially in Southeast Asia. Chinese people in China and countries in Southeast Asia where the fleet called at during the expeditions, set up shrines for Zheng He, whom they worship as the maritime god, or Sam Ba Gong, even though he was a Muslim. Such can be found at Bukit Jina, or China Hill, situated deep in the old town of Malacca. Here, there is a hill known as Sam Ba Gong Hill, the location of Sam Ba Gong Temple. Its progress and prosperity made Malacca desirable by Western powers, vying for the control of maritime trade route in the region as well.
Portugal laid siege of Malacca with a fleet before conquering it in August 1511. The Portuguese then made Malacca their new trading station in Asia, leading to the opening of trade route with other centers of power in Southeast Asia, China and Japan included. That spelled the end of Malacca as the great empire of the past. Malacca came under the Portuguese rule until early 17th century AD. Thereafter, Holland started to take control of the Malay Peninsula and took over Malacca from the Portuguese, who were in decline of their influences. With the establishment of the Dutch East India Company, or VOC, a powerful monopoly to carry out trade activities. Queen Victoria Fountain at Red Square was built in 1904, dedicated in honour of Queen Victoria of Britain. While this clock tower was built in 1886 by a Chinese millionaire, all these are one part of historical evidence of the British rule in Malacca. After the Second World War, Malacca, which joined the Federation of Malaya, became a part of Malaysia after independence from Britain. With its history involving diverse ethnic and religious groups, Malacca of the present day is a multicultural city. The majority of the population are Malays, followed by Chinese, Indians and Christians, people of Portuguese ancestry from the colonial rule. In such racial diversity, there are groups of people in Malacca who are results of cross-cultural matching. They have created their new cultures as well. Peranakan refers to groups of Chinese with Malay ancestry, as in the past Chinese merchants, especially the Hokkians, came into trade in the Malay Peninsula and settled down in Malacca since early 14th century AD onwards. The culture of the Peranakan is a mixed culture, generally called straight Chinese culture, with maintained identities through garments that mix beautiful Chinese and Malay styles in a harmonious manner. Six centuries of coexistence among people from diverse races and tongues makes Malacca a city of history and profuse colors of cultures. All these make this ancient port city inscribed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, along with Georgetown of Penang, on the 7th of July 2008, under the name Malacca and Georgetown, historic sites of the Straits of Malacca not just the first cultural world heritage of Malaysia, but importantly, 
Malacca is a living world heritage city as always. One Belt, One Road is the policy which China announced to make economic connections with over 60 countries worldwide. And one of this is by reviving the Maritime Silk Road to make it become more alive again, which thus connects directly to the ASEAN region. And of course, this makes a lot of changes for Malaysia today. After China's announcement of the One Belt, One Road policy in the year 2015, many view this as the new Silk Road, since the plan seeks to develop trade and international collaboration from China all the way to Europe. As the nickname suggests, the policy is inspired by the original historically renowned Silk Road. Through opening up and achieve win-win outcomes. The One Belt, One Road project is divided into two essential components, the Silk Road Economic Belt and the Maritime Silk Road. China expects the project to generate an economic value of 21 billion US dollars, equivalent to 414 billion baht, One Belt, One Road. The historical significance of Malacca, which served as the port city, connecting China to the Malay archipelago and Arabian merchants in the 15th century, led to China's decision to reselect the city as part of the new Silk Road of the 21st century. For this policy of China, the Malacca Gateway project was launched as a joint effort between the government enterprise of KAJ Development and a Chinese company known as Power China International. The total amount of investment was 7.2 billion US dollars. Malacca Gateway will be constructed on a man-made island, similar to another project in Dubai. The Malacca Gateway will serve as the first project constructed on a large man-made island in Southeast Asia. The Malacca Gateway will commence construction within the year 2018 as a deep seaport which supports trade and tourism. Many real estate development projects will also be launched in the neighboring areas. These include luxury condominiums, parks, amusement parks, department stores and many more. Malacca Gateway is Singapore's competitor due to its strategic geographical location at the Strait of Malacca, which is imperative for shipping goods to China, particularly fuel. China has always been active in developing new trade alternatives by collaboratively establishing ports with countries such as Pakistan and Myanmar.
besides the Malacca Gateway, Malaysia is investing in the East Coast Rail Link, an east-west railway expediting the transport of goods from the port of Malacca to the east coast of Malaysia. Upon project's completion, the shipment of goods to the east coast will only take 30 hours. This serves as one of the country's largest infrastructural development projects since its independence from Great Britain. The 620-kilometer East Coast Rail Link will be constructed along the country's eastern area of Tumpa, opposite the Thai border at Bak Bai District, Narahiwat Province. The railway shall continue along the coast to Kuantan Port of Pahang. The Malaysian government designated the area as a special economic zone, receiving large investments from China. From Guantan, the railway cuts into the west and continues through the central region, concluding its course at Port Glang, the largest port of Malaysia, situated slightly north of Malacca. The completion of Malacca Gateway, East Coast Rail Link and Guantan Port coupled by Malaysia's Port Glang, which currently ranks 11th in the world's logistics hub, is expected to create changes to the sea lanes in the Strait of Malacca. This reflects the impact of the new economic and investment zones on both coasts driven by China. The Malacca Gateway and East Coast Rail Link will facilitate fuel shipments from the Middle East, where vessels are no longer required to take the longer route through Singapore. This reduces risks and enforces safety on the trade route of China. The projects underscore the fact that China and Malaysia are transforming the trade and logistical strategies. The projects underscore the fact that China and Malaysia are transforming the trade and logistical strategies of Asia. When the Malacca Gateway is officially complete by the year 2025, it is expected that the project will attract large investments while stimulating the service, tourism, and local trade sectors of Malaysia. These favorable changes will ultimately improve the quality of living for the people of Malaysia. We can clearly see that both China and Malaysia are trying to revive the past glory of Malacca as the important seaport of the ASEAN region and making it more alive again by bringing in the story of the Maritime Silk Road of 600 years ago as a tool to create everything to become more concrete. And that's all for ASEAN Connect for today. See you again next time. Swadee